Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very easy way to create a highlighter animation effect. So for this example, my composition is vertical. It's 1080 by 1920. For the background, I'm just using this fake little newspaper template. Once you have created a new composition and added a footage layer to the layers panel, the next thing you want to do is create a new solid layer. You can right click or control click anywhere in the layers panel, go to new solid or come up to the top menu, go to layer new solid or use the keyboard shortcut command or control Y. So I'll call this yellow highlighter. I'll click the make comp size button. So the solid is the same size as the composition. And for the color, I'll use this bright yellow. You can copy the hex code here. I'll also leave in the description the hex codes to all the popular highlighter colors. I'll click OK. Click OK. Next, I'm going to add the stroke effect to the solid layer. To do so, I'm going to go to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, go to Window and check Effects and Presets. In the search field, I'm just going to type out Stroke. I'm just going to click on it and drag it right on top of the solid layer. With the solid layer selected, go up to Effect Controls and change Paint Style from On Original Image, which is the yellow solid, and change it to On Transparent so we can see that paper below. You're going to use the color swatch for the stroke effect to control the highlighter color. So I'm just going to click on this color swatch. I'm going to enter in that bright yellow color and click OK. With the solid layer selected, I'm going to go up to the tools and click on the pen tool. Decide where you want to start the animation, then click to add a point with the pen tool. If you press the shift key and click to add another point, that'll make a perfect straight line, or you may want to make it a little more natural, then just click and add a few points. I'll tap V or click on the selection tool. Now I have this mask created over this line of text. And if I twirl open the solid layer, you'll see that's called mask one. And to add color to the mask, go to the stroke effect, go to the path property. You can select the mask one from the dropdown or any mask that you want to apply it to. Or in this case, I'm going to check all masks. And now we see that yellow highlighter. The first thing I'll do is change the brush size. I can just click and drag. But of course, we want to be able to see the text below the highlighter. So come down to the layers panel, select the solid layer. Make sure that you see the mode column. If you don't see that, click on toggle switches and modes at the bottom of the layers panel. Change the blend mode from normal to multiply. You can play around with the brush hardness or the opacity of the stroke effect or the spacing to get the look exactly where you want. And then to animate the highlighter effect, I'm going to drag the playhead to the beginning of the timeline, go to the end property. I'm going to click on the stopwatch, but I'm going to change it from 100% at the start to 0%. Then I'm going to drag the playhead forward in time. For the end property, I'll change it from 0 to 100%. I'll drag the playhead back to the beginning, tap the spacebar, and now we have a pretty cool realistic highlighter animation effect. If you want to make any changes, you can just select the layer. You can modify the points if you want to make any adjustments. If you double click on any point, it'll turn into a transform handle so you can change the position. So maybe you only want to highlight a couple words. And to highlight additional lines or words using the same color in the same animation, just twirl open the solid layer, twirl open masks, and just duplicate the mask as many times as you need it. So I'll duplicate it by hitting Command or Control D. Now I have Mask 2. I can just click and move it to a new position. Now when I preview the animation, you'll see that both lines are animating on together, which is probably not what you want. So just go up to the Effect Controls and just tick this box, Stroke Sequentially. Then it's going to animate on by order of mask. So Mask 1 will come on first, and then Mask 2. And if you want to introduce some different highlighting colors, well, you can just repeat the process by adding a new solid, then adding the stroke effect and building it from scratch. Or you can just duplicate the original solid layer, move the masks around, then just go up to the effect controls, change the settings, change the colors, then come down to the layers panel and just stagger out the layers to get the timing how you want it. And that is how to create a simple highlighter effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.